So, uh, Latalia actually had a good showing earlier. Uh, she went to game three with Missing Known. Oh, all right. Uh, it was actually a really interesting set. Um, just kind of let Incineroar run her over though, because Incineroar was a truck. Yeah. Uh, so, and then Nostro. Who does he play now? Nostro he still plays, plays Ridley, Ridley, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Right. Oh, no, I switched players. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Go! Right. on Battlefield, dude. Interesting. That's an interesting pick. It's actually good for both of them. Um, probably better for Zelda, though. Well, I have no idea. I don't know. Because, okay, so Zelda can pressure with uh, knights very well on the stage, mm -hmm. especially underneath the platform. Um, but okay. Ridley can, like, combo with Nair and stuff and pressure with up tilt and up air through the platforms. Yeah, you mentioned the knight, but it does have to be a certain charge of the knight, otherwise it'll just go, like, the horizontal swing instead of, like, the big vertical, big vertical swing. swing. I agree. But it covers a ton of space when charged fully. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, Nostra is not gonna give Zelda that space, though. Yeah, he's running I mean, in a ton and pressuring right a lot. Oh, he even went off stage, which can be risky against the teleport, especially because you don't know where she's gonna go with it. Yeah. Oh, and there's that fan coming into play. Ooh, Crunch is doing an option out of shield with an F smash. Back here ledge for pressure? Okay, no. Ooh, oh, oh I, F smash. Yep. F smash would have been ideal there. F smash. Do you want to go for the style points? You go for down B? <laughs> At 128%. <laughs> for the style points. For the style points. <laughs> I see you, I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. A lot of F smashes going on. A lot of F smashes, here. um, I would say. I'd like to see more tilts coming out. More tilts. They're just a lot safer. A lot uh, less committal. Down tilt can combo into stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, maybe up, some spaced, like, nair. Yeah, late hit of up tilt can also combo really late well. Late hit of up tilt can also combo, yeah. She does have a. She still has a lead, <laughs> but she had a stock lead, and now it's just a very large percent lead. Um, which really can make back with some cool strings, but he's got to work for it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. A little worried that she didn't use her double jump, but she Yeah, I, I was questioning it too. Um, but she knows the distance on it, so it's very good. Mm -hmm. Also, covered the ledge with the hitbox too. Kind of throwing out moves. Um, I think. Zelda needs to play a bit more reactionary, a bit more uh, campy in a way where it's like, you're not just pressuring with, you know, like, disjointed smash attacks, you're, you're more so trying to pressure with well-spaced movement and combo starters, mm -hmm. like late hit and air. Yeah. Um, She's doing a really good job with these platforms, though. No, she was trying to go high to go over that phantom, and so, uh, Latalia's just catching up with it. Yeah. Catching that with the up smash. That's the thing I was saying earlier. If you pressure with Phantom on the ground, you can cover the aerial options with uh, you know, side B or forward air. Mm -hmm. She is a big fan of these like smaller. Ooh, Ooh pressure I the like shield it. to get I like up the shield. The two stock coming up for Latalia. So if you're if you're Ridley in this situation, I think you want. I think you want less platforms. You want less platforms. You want more space or less space? I, that's the, the thing, because Zelda with more space can like run away and throw stuff at you and, and press you that way. But at the same time, if she does that, she loses stage control, which mm -hmm. she kind of she kind of wants. Yeah. So she's a weird zoning character in that way. Mm -hmm. Where would you go if you were playing Ridley? I was going Ridley. Yeah. Maybe Smashville. Smashville? Eh, I don't know about others. PS2, tried and true. You could always try that. They went to Kalos. I, I think... Hmm. It's not a bad pick. Hmm. I just... I'm trying to think of like what he can do here. He can recover high on the platform, I guess. Um, so as a mix-up, which is nice. But yep. And he has more horizontal you know, combo potential. With no platforms getting in his way. Uh, especially with Nair and forward air. Ooh, it looks like the stage choice is working out for him. Talia trying to get something started here, just can't. Yeah, uses the get off me tool, you know, up out of shield, uh, neutral B. Um, and once that happened, she does a really good job of, you know, keeping him out. Uh, 
she always aims these dense fires high, and I think that people need to start recognizing that. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, people should start air dodging down to like get away from it, which we don't really see a ton of it. We don't really see a ton of air dodge down. Yeah, you want to. I'd like to see more neutral air dodge coming out of all, pretty much yeah. all the players from here. Or fastfall that, neutral air dodge is such a great tool. Yeah, that fastfall, I... especially if you fastfall it, definitely. Mm -hmm. Instead of just double jumping away, I know it really has a bunch of jumps, but they don't always benefit. It doesn't always benefit you to use them right away. Um, mm -hmm. You might want to mix up your jumps and your fastfall timings. Down throw, not going to combo anymore. I would, I would have liked to see a forward throw for more stage control. Yeah. Doing a great job with that up B. Aiming it high. I like the idea of running in, but he got scared of the knight. You don't want to get scared of the knight if it's got a low charge on it. Mm -hmm. um, because you can probably dash tech through that even. Because if you hit knight, uh, hit Zelda during while she's summoning the knight, then the knight just falls apart. Right. Good way to the ledge, actually. Not falling for Zelda traps. Oh, he is getting caught by a lot of up smashes. Yeah, trying to jump into her. He keeps trying to go high, like we said last time, and it's not really working out for him. I think he's got to find a new game plan. And he's got to be a lot more careful when Zelda is off stage because Natalia likes to. Natalia likes to surprise people with that up B and come on stage with it, but if you shield it, it's very punishable. Caught him with Knight. Now we're down to last stock. Um. Latalia's still sitting comfortable with three stocks here. Forward air, landing forward air to nothing. Still can't get the kill at once. Wow. 70 almost. Oh, okay, there's a shield. Long didn't... punish option though. Oh, you know what we haven't seen? We haven't seen side B uh, from Ridley to punish oh, any no, of Zelda's haven't. swings. Yeah, especially since it looks like uh, Latalia's trying to bait him by sitting in shield a bit and then go for that up B. Yeah, that or... um. Uh, side B, or uh, neutral B, I mean. Mm -hmm. The diamond. I, I like. Ooh. Covering with Nair. Spacing himself back, I like that. He does have a disjoint with his tail. Mm -hmm. um, so it's. Ooh, parry. Uh, landing forward air didn't time it right. Also, I would have preferred maybe landing Nair there. Just because it's faster and it's, you know, it's easier to time the hits of. Mm -hmm. Or the hit of. Shield, grab, more stage pressure, more less trapping. Forward air. Getting all that stage control back. Yep, you're hanging on ledge too long, you're yep. gonna get pressure. No, Sergio just doesn't have an answer to this ledge pressure. Yeah, I really can't throw a little He's such a big body. Ooh! I actually like the idea of just gets caught by up smash again. Yeah, that was kind of the crux of that set. He got caught by a lot of stuff, just you know, on sh hitting on shield and getting hit by up B, jump, trying to jump over and getting hit by up smash. 